Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Mystery of Solaris. Breakfast, lettuce, and tomato. Alright, so... Last time, I left off inside the ancient castle. Today, my right pinky toe hurts. It is missing a joint compared with my left pinky toe. And that makes any kind of job where I have to spend a lot of time on my feet probably a bad idea. Haha, -ha, I have escaped. Alright, so let's look at what we have here. A bunch of these that push me down. The key to the puzzle is to circle the jars in the right direction. You know, I think I may have misunderstood the nature of this puzzle. Okay. So, what if I push this up here? Push this down here. Push this... Huh, this doesn't go up. Okay, I think I messed up. Or did I? Okay, let's try this again. I think I need to use those blocks to, uh... get to where I'm going. Fascinating that they set this up such that I cannot use a save and exit thing to skip this puzzle. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. So if I put one here and one here, I should be able to hop my way out. So I will need two of these blocks. I, I don't know what that clue about circling the jars is. Like, when you tell me to th circle the jars, it makes me think that I have to go all the way around. But... What I think I meant to do is something more akin to this. Which, you know, sure involves going around the jars, but I don't. Yeah, I suppose that would be described as circling around them. But I feel like that clue didn't provide enough context, and instead the clue just served to confuse what I was supposed to do. Like, I thought going around the jars was going to cause something to happen. But no, what I think I meant to do is this. Whoops. Oh, hey. I can push the jump button and it'll automatically jump forward. Interesting, like, I'm not pulling forward. That is interesting. So why would I want to go on this instead of, say, running through the middle? Anyway, I have solved the puzzle. Go me. Alright, so... Let's see here. According to this map, there is one treasure chest left in this entire place. So... 
And it is downstairs from here. And I need one more treasure chest in order... Hey, you know what? Haha! -ha. Okay, so... Whoops, wrong button. I'm glad I don't have to be holding a direction in order to uh, hop over things. I can just approach them. Interesting. So part of this room is over the treasure chest. I'm too far west. Okay, I think this is about the right area. No! I don't have my stunomatic stunner. Okay, so... I'm waiting for enlightenment. Yeah, here's where the final chest is supposed to be. I think, yeah. So I'm gonna go hide from that while it explodes. Yeah, thought so. Oh, I, I keep forgetting how far back their uh, sight box goes. Okay, they just ignore that. Oh, hey, this room has a patrol as well, I believe. Yep. Hmm. How do I get into that room over to the right? I Sheesh. Hallmarks of a bad stealth section is where you can't tell at a glance if something can see you. And when they can see behind themselves. Hmm. This room has to be important somehow, right? That room on the right can only be accessed one way. Okay, nothing there. No! Saw me from off the screen. How far away can they see you from? No way of knowing. How far behind themselves can they see? Who knows? Oh hey look, that enemy spotted me through the wall.
Okay. And I'm sure it's realis realistic for them to have an idea of what's going on some distance behind them, but... Realism in video games is overrated. I'm more interested in good conveyance. Okay, so... I want to go into the chamber on the right. Okay. I need to, like, kill these guys in order to get there. Hmm. Alright, heading downstairs. I'm sure I've been in this chamber many times before, but I didn't have jump before. Okay. Nothing new I can do here, even though I have my jump ability. And it's cool that I can jump at all, but I would like for it to be able to do something. I can't decide if that dark tile that I assume is where the treasure chest is going to appear somehow, if I can get it to. No, anyway, I assume that dark tile has something to do with uh, that chest appearing, but how? I'm trying to think about how things might be connected and where I can use my jump. I'm just having trouble figuring out what to do. Sorry for that long s bit of sitting there staring at the pause screen in silence. I there must be something I can do involving jumping and uh, that chamber down below. And the map says that that's the last treasure box. Ok, 
Okay, so... Night runs past. Whoops. Yeah, I... I don't... I don't know how to get to that. I mean, I'm here. I just don't know what it does. I'm... I'm just so unclear on what to do here. And do I need to mess with those guards somehow? And what's with this lock? Iron lock. Okay. Do I need an iron key? I was spotted by an enemy that I couldn't see due to ambiguous vision angles. Do, do the doors get randomly closed and reopened based on a... Oops. Like, do the doors get randomly shuffled around which ones are closed and which ones are open every time I get arrested? I mean, I can't think of anything else in the dungeon to do beyond just mess with the guards here and hope that something enlightens me. So yeah, that guard is way over there. If I hug the wall, I can dodge that guard's vision. Oops, better not go that way. I keep underestimating the size of that bubble of awareness. Is there something here? I... I'm just so confused about what is going on here. I mean, this block right here is obviously important because look at how different it is. Block tile. Don't think I was going fast enough to avoid getting spotted.
Okay, so let's see, can I go around here and yeah, I circled around this thing entirely. Oh, really? In the hopes of finding something. Um, join me next time when I try and be. I'm sorry that I'm spending so many episodes on this, but. Like, this I'm going to have to look up somehow because I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Join me next time when I'll have cheated my way to knowledge about what I'm meant to do. <laughs>